mean a blazing uh, trail with style. Am I right? Ryan, please give me a quick pan around. It, new for this year, completely redesigned. This is the Harlan Pioneer, and this is the Trailblazer edition of the BH261. 30 feet, 10 inches, roughly 5,800 pounds dry. Uh, and they have upgraded this style with what I, Ian and I have been going back and forth on this. He called it the English leather. Um, I called it like the book bond leather, but this is a leatherette jackknife, tannish in color. Looks really good with this decor. And they finally gave us cloth curtains. Such a small change, but it makes this feel so much more residential. Wrought iron bar hanger. I got the little circular hooks there. My, my the, the curtain, I absolutely love, absolutely love it. So dual USB charging there. And if you look down, the style's gonna continue because we did have the PVC marine grade weave in the carpet or in the slides last year, but gone is the carpet, gone is the weave. Now it's the continuation of that upgraded linoleum flooring that we have in there. And hopefully this will come across on camera um, because the cabinetry is this beautiful bluish gray. It, it kind of flows with this, but it's a little bit darker than the bluish gray up here. Wood accents all the way around, even on the slides, just look so much cleaner without that fascia that they had on there. And champagne bronze pulls on your cabinets and drawers. Now with the Trailblazer, uh, the Pioneer is already a price conscious, a price conscious coach. Uh, but with the Trailblazer, you're gonna lose a few amenities that the regular Pioneers may have. For example, like the flip down storage rack out back, powered tongue jack, solid steps, fireplace. Uh, but it, you're still gonna get the core things, the way it's built, the 30,000 furnace, the 13.5 BTU AC. But this year they have decided with the Trailblazers, look, for those folks that are looking for their first camper that have never experienced the power tongue jack, never had the solid steps. They're worried about meeting a price point, giving their family, their loved ones, something good. Trailblazers it. And look at the style that we have here. The color combinations, the flow. I think my friend Trish, who's an interior designer, would probably agree, this is really nice. Solid white door, and I figured, why don't we go ahead and start in the master bedroom? You got the queen size bed up here. The 261 is a bunkhouse, so you can sleep probably seven. I got good storage space there. They gave you caning insert inside your ward doors over here with the champagne bronze pulls, 110 outlet on both sides, light, windows. I got the wood valance there, continuing that same theme. TV backer power and cable connection here uh, on the front wall too, so you're not wrenching your neck, turning to the left or the right to watch TV. Uh, and then you walk right out into your kitchen where once again, that color palette just continues the flow from dark to light going bottom to top. Uh, solid wood construction, finished off, applique, full extension drawer guides, two burner cooktop that's recessed with the glass cover and the backsplash that goes from top to bottom as well. But even inside my pressed surface countertop here, you see the gray lines meshing with the white flowing upwards to our white cabinets with the old bronze poles that we have here. They even have a little bevel inside of there. I like that. High point microwave, 50-50 stainless steel sink undermounted with the high rise faucet. Now in the regular Pioneer, you would get the champagne bronze faucet. Uh, only difference is that one's champagne bronze. This one is matte black. So there you go. Storage underneath. Nice. It's a nice. Oh, and you got the oversized 10.7 cubic foot Everchill fridge freezer combo. So what's cool about this is let's say I was coming to get me an ice cream from the kitchen. I could grab it from that side. If Ryan's coming from the bathroom, he could then what to <laughs> grab it from this side. Yes, you have double side opening fridge and freezer doors are the only thing is don't open them both at the same time because then you're gonna have to fumble fumble fudge around to get it back on there it's not it's not as fun as it looks and across from us here new for this year too is going to be our new freestanding dinette with the bench seat that has storage underneath so the booth dinettes would have storage underneath but you always had that little piece of wood with the drill hole and you get splinters in your finger i like this just get a cushion for the kids to sit on but having the chairs not only are they wood and high back um just looks a little bit more residential and gives you a little bit more room for flexibility too so i'm a big fan of that and since the 261 is a bunk model you do have the double over double bunks here got the light uh, the LED light has a USB port in it, so you can use that to charge your cell phones. Plus, you got some storage underneath, uh, double over doubles here, with 
200 pound capacity uh, on those. So if you got the kids, maybe two of those. If it's adults, probably just one. It's one, two, three, four, five adults, maybe seven kids. Some more storage. And I even like how Pioneer does their storage. Uh, you can take the shelves out if you need bigger space or if you need smaller space. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And just the, the flow, the color flow, I like. The white door. And then we come into the bathroom. High rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. Uh, tub and shower surround with the corner notches. Uh, I got my little matte black shower there. My controls. Now you don't get a medicine cabinet in the Trailblazer, uh, but you do in a regular Pioneer. And the coat hangers here, plus a access point. So if you're out, you know, hiking, biking, getting dirty, maybe at the beach or whatever, um, you can get cleaned up and not track it into your beautiful new home away from home. Uh, which I, I like the Trailblazers, man. You still get 13.5 BTU AC. You still get 41 gallon fresh, 40 gray, 40 black, six gallon hot water heater. Um, just at a little bit more price conscious point for you. So there you go. All new Harlan Pioneer BH261. Oh, well since the door open, let's go out and check out what's outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new Harlan Pioneer BH261. One of the things they've added this year as far as camp conveniences that I like, right there, the vault. It is an outside disconnect for your battery, but also make sure that your cables are not exposed to the elements. Now, with this being that Trailblazer style, you're gonna have the manual tongue jack here, powder coated frame still, twin 20 pound LP tanks still, and great support for this coach, but diamond plated rock guard on the bottom and the hybrid aluminum profile. So, with this being an aluminum travel trailer on the exterior, right up front, you got an aluminum superstructure that helps reduce the weight of the tongue so it's not as heavy up front very nice feature but even though it is a trailblazer you're going to get the finished off pass-through storage with battery disconnect down there light and right there's a really good shot of that aluminum profile enclosed underbelly on this one see if you can hear this on the microphone there you even get an enclosure on this one for entry level at this price point having that it's fantastic front stabilizer jacks steel fold up steps to lead you into the main entry point so i don't get the solid steps extra large grab handle extra large awning with the led light strip power cable connection 14 inch steel rims on the dexter easy lube axles that extra wide berth is going to give us a little easier of a tow still get a black tank flush so so far we're still getting more amenities just at a more economical price point with just a few features left out power tongue jack solid steps and you don't get the tailgate system on the back if you haven't used it didn't really get a chance to benefit from it are you really missing it four x four sewer hose storage there backup camera and ladder prep like that prepped for both cable connection here city water connection rear stabilizer jack my main terminations there which you know you're going to have the 41 gallon fresh and the 40s on your gray and your black got your slide right there and of course the other side of your pass through storage with battery disconnect having that just easily accessible makes life so much easier because you're not fumbling to try to disconnect the battery in the middle of something plus you got the disconnect here on the vault so you could trickle charge the battery because you are pre-wired for solar upgrade and get that package tremendous package but more importantly will really help charge that battery too but right here one of the most important areas when looking for an rv especially your family's first one is going to be this area here the info panels now heartland does a good job of letting you know hey this is what the tires and the axles can hold here's your gross vehicle weight 7,700 pounds. This is where you take the information of this coach gross weight 77, dry weight 5,800. You take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and you say, hey, explain that to me. Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's where I want to go camping. Here's how many people we're going to go camping with. Um, what's right for me? Number one, at rv.campingworld.com, we have a towing guide. But number two, you bring your tow vehicle into Camping World, it's free, it's easy, our folks will check it, it doesn't take them long, and then you'll be confident knowing how much your vehicle can really tow. But at 30 feet, 10 inches, can sleep, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe more depending on the size of the people. The BH261, even though it's the Trailblazer, man, and 
you're missing this much off the regular Heartland Pioneers, which are already a great entry-level RV. This is just yet another economical step for that person that wants to try camping and doesn't want to break the bank. So let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? What'd you think of it? What do you like about that new interior redesign? Where would you take it camping? We love hearing from you, and we also pass along your changes to the manufacturer. But more importantly than that, we're just friends that haven't met yet. So leave me a comment and tell me, hey, man, I just, hey, uh, hopefully you can tell by my videos, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I love meeting people. And also click like, subscribe, and notify. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Thank you for joining me for the BH261. I'm Chris Young, and I'll see you soon.